You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to the notification gang and my brother Showtime SP. Let's get right into it, man. Shout out to the uh, RiceGameClothing.com. You know what I'm saying? If you like what I got on, you know what I'm saying? Merchandise is up there too. Shout out to everybody who has support. We got every single order out. Ready for some new ones. If you, you know what I'm saying? You highlight them, we get with them, and we make sure you get to them. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to the people whose football teams won yesterday. Uh, the Giants won, even though I wanted them to lose. I was kind of like watching it, hoping that they lose. And then my kids looking at me like, why do you want them to lose? Because they don't really understand the draft situation. You know what I'm saying? So, But no matter how bad the Giants are, we will never be worse than the Washington Redskins. They're still the Redskins. They'll always be the Redskins. We don't know no other name. So yeah, the Redskins suck. But uh, Giants won. Shout out to them. Uh, I don't know what direction they're going in right now. I've seen a lot of other teams that won too, but you know, it is what it is. Shout out to everybody whose team that won. Um, Swamp, 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 bro. I don't know what's going on, or I don't know what, what's, what's, what's popping with you right now. But I was thinking earlier, right? Cause I was on, the, um, I was on Twitter. And I seen you and Cal going back and forth and things like that. And I was thinking like, yo, what is up with Swamp? I'm pulling you up on the app right now. You know what I'm saying? I had to pull you up right quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, how you, how you, how you work to be able to talk about what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, um, I'm looking at what's going on right now in battle rap. And I haven't seen you in a little minute. You know what I'm saying? Band Legacy 4 came out October 16th. That was a band battle. Uh, the app has Chef Trez winning. You know what I'm saying? That was just an okay battle. That ain't really like... What it probably could have been in front of a stage and a crowd in a big setting, maybe it would have been better, but the app got Chef Tress winning and I didn't really, like it was, it, to me, that battle should have been on Summer Madness. We're just gonna leave that there. But shout out to Swamp, shout out to Chef Tress. Chef Tress doing his motherfucking numbers. He, he, he wild right now. Shout out to Swamp too, but this is why I wanna go into kinda like your year and what you've been doing so far and what I've seen from you. And it's like, I kinda, I need more, you know what I'm saying? Because I like Swamp and I, and I know what he's able to do, but I don't think that this year has been handled properly with Swamp. And you all, y'all need to get on y'all game too. Like I don't know what's going on with the handling of Swamp's career, but right now it, he it ain't it ain't it ain't moving like I'm supposed to be moving. Because if you look at his 2020 um 22, the battles that he had in 22, if you thought remotely close, his year would not be this. He battled Shotgun Suge win, Rum Nitty win, Fonz win, Dot win, uh, last battle of the tournament with JC, you know, he, he lost that one. Tay Rock to most win, uh, you know what I'm saying, the app, I don't know who the app got winning, don't look like, the app got Rock winning, but in the crowd, in the building, the Swamp had a good fight in that motherfucker, so, you know, that's debatable. Arsenal win, Saga outside loss, Kitchen, that, no, so that, I was just talking about last year, right? So you had Arsenal, Rock, JC, Arsenal, Arsenal, Rock, JC, Dot, Fonz, Rum Nitty, Shotgun, Suge. And then you come into this year right here, and the only battles I have you down for is Saga on outside, Clean, Stumbles, and Trez. I'm thinking like, bro, you supposed to be, this is, you supposed to, this is, what, 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 what are we doing here? See, when you got time and ain't nothing going on, I mean, there's some things going on in the media, you know what I'm saying, Hassan Campbell, Running around uptown, we don't know if he got boomed or if he's faking that. We'll talk about that at the end. Uh, what else is going on? Puff Daddy done gave that girl that money. He had to give it to her. We'll talk about that at the end, too. Matter of fact, we're going to talk to y'all for a couple things today. He, he had to give her that bread. He had no choice. You know what I'm saying? Shake down. She, she pocket checked him. But, uh, but Trez, I mean, I'm swamp, uh, swamp. Like, what's going on? Like, you ain't got no work this year. This ain't no work right here. <laughs> Why do you only have one, two, three, four battles this year? And one of them was with Saga. And I don't even think you wanted that battle. Was that a one round? I gotta watch that shit. I, I don't even remember that battle. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. But I know you lost. I, I do know that much. I know you didn't win. Because I was hearing it when it happened. And I heard it afterwards. And I think you even said that you ain't want that battle. So I can't even. Shout out to Swamp Saga for winning. But I gotta like even put that one to the, to the, to the side. You only got three joints, bro. And I don't count the battles that y'all niggas be doing when y'all battle on your home league and uh, your fucking NBA Jam Battle League. Shout out to all the small leagues out there, you know what I'm saying? Cook me, you can call me and book me. Ain't no problem. I, hey, look, I show love to the hood too. But I'm just saying, in the conversation that I'm having right now, I am not counting none of them battles. So when you're a small league this small, I ain't, I ain't, 
They ain't here for that. They are not here for that. You know what I'm saying? They here for the big talk, big channel, big battles. I'm sorry. I love the small leagues. I love what they do and I love the independent grind. But this is not the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't we 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 can't do that right now. We can do that another time. You know what I'm saying? Even be niggas that be trying to call me and get on TV. We certain niggas, you know what I'm saying? If they not like whoop the woman woman, they'll they'll put them to the side. No, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, 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 it's a time and a place for everything, you know what I'm saying? This is just not the time or the place. I get back to y'all. So you got Kitchen Clean, I had you doing good in that one. You had Stumbles, which I had you winning, and you had Chef Trez, which is that. But where the hell are you at? Like, why? if you ain't on Homecoming, you need to be on Homecoming. That's basically what this is about. I don't know who you battling. It, I, I would hope it would be Calico, but I don't think that they're going to pull a Calico out. You, he went over there and battled goods. They pulled him out the hat real quick. So if they wanted you to battle Calico, it could have happened. Because Cal even told me when I was talking to him on a live, that he would battle you. But you know, he got his price and what he want and it is what it is. But uh, Calico said Swamp Trash. You know what I'm saying? He basically jumped on Twitter and just out of nowhere just said Swamp Trash. Then Swamp responded and was like, you, you know what I'm saying? He called him a scary mother effer. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying that he was scared uh, of to battle him. You scared of me, mother effer. And um, Cal said Swamp Trash. Um, Here's the deal. Both really talented MCs. Uh, Cal was supposed to battle in Oakland versus Pass. I kind of knew the battle wasn't going to happen, though, because, like, when I seen the card getting put together, I told you I'm really, I'm getting really good at this. When I see certain cards get together, I can look at the battle and be like, that ain't happening. That's not happening. I knew Twerk wasn't battling against uh, Shoddy Horror. You know what I'm saying? I knew he wasn't. Like, there ain't no fucking way he was going to battle. When Mook said that shit about, uh, <laughs> when Murder Mook said that shit about, you going to battle somebody before you going to battle me and you do the woo I've been doing this shit too long. I, I, I hear what y'all saying, but listen, that nigga was like, that battle get put to the side. Say what you want, that shit got put to the motherfucking side. However, listen, niggas better make up a reason. <laughs> this is what it is, man. Shout out to all parties involved, but I mean, hey, listen, man. I know why. Nigga, you better focus on him. You better focus on murder. Shout out to Twerk. You better focus, nigga. I don't give a fuck what the reason is, nigga. I don't even give a nigga. Park the car, nigga. We ain't going, nigga. Fuck all that, nigga. I wouldn't have did it either, nigga. You asking me. So don't be mad at me, because I would have did the same shit. <laughs> I would have did the same shit. If that's what happened, I don't you know what I'm saying. I'm not involved in the conversations that go on, but if you asking me, nigga, I would have got the fuck out of that battle, too. I got to go all the way to London to battle this, nigga. I got Murder Mook next week, nigga. I ain't battling Murder Mook next week. Hell no. I got to, look. Cancel the trip, man. Give, give, give these niggas their money back or whatever. We battle these niggas in February. Shout out to all parties involved. I love what y'all doing. Um, and that was Premier Battle League. I think it was Shotty Horror. Yeah, shout out Shotty Horror. Shout out Premier Battle League, et cetera, et cetera. Now back to Swamp. Um, so I'm looking at it like, yo, why are you not on or you ain't announced yet on the fucking biggest card of the year? Niggas better give you a Thanksgiving announcement or some shit because you backed off of the trenches card, nigga. You think we're <laughs> now... I understand why, and I seen you not too long ago at Chrome, you know what I'm saying, I actually fuck with Swamp, he's a good dude, you know what I'm saying, that's my guy, but in order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest, I told him when I saw the nigga, I was like, yo, what's up with the verb shit, blah, 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 I wanted to see him get verb, why is it everybody you want to get is such a damn issue with, when they want to get niggas for somebody else, they get them, they, they get them, we want you to battle verb, that shit ain't happening, we want to see you battle Cal, is it happening, like what are we gonna do, are you gonna be Izzy is or Izzy mate, ain't the whole damn year, what are we doing? <laughs> Niggas want to see you, bro. You battled Rock last year. You battled Arts last year. You battled Nitty last year. You battled Shug last year. You battled JC last year. Don't settle for this shit that they got you going on right fucking now. Hell no. You should be flipping tables, my nigga. You should be flipping fucking tables in that office. Fuck that. You niggas paid knobs. I want my guy... I don't know what that has to do with anything. But still, you should be flipping tables in that bitch, man. You should want to go. I don't know what's going on. Huh? Who's your man? <laughs> Who's your fucking man? Let's go 50-50, man. I'm going to be silent partner, nigga. You made me your man. This shit will end today. You made me a silent partner. Shout out to Swamp. Nigga, I, I lived in something. Nigga, I was in South Carolina for like fucking uh, seven months last year. I said that shit. I lived in something, nigga. I'm from South Carolina, too. I was there for seven months, bro. I lived right there. <laughs> right by uh, Shaw. Air Force Base. I used to live right down the road from there. I was out there, bro. Make me their silent partner. We can end this shit today. Nigga, <laughs> pick up that goddamn phone. If I don't got motherfucker, <laughs> Listen, look, nigga, look, nigga. 
You niggas is in a fragile state right now. You don't like me, I don't like y'all. Get my nigga Calico or get him Verb or we gonna be in the fucking blue room, nigga. Click. Straight up, nigga. You nice and fucking... <laughs> Shit, nigga. You better go GTX or something, nigga. What the fuck going on with you out here? You niggas... You, you got off the trenches card and niggas ain't get... You supposed to battle Froze. That would've been a great battle. <laughs> was he? Was this Froze? I think it was Froze. Yeah, I think it was Roseburg, bro. Let me see. Swamp versus Roseburg. I think that's what it was, man. But I, I, I really like Swamp. You know what I'm saying? I like what Swamp is able to do. So I think... um, I'm just like... Ugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to see him, um, I just want to see him shine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to see him shine. I just want to see him do his thing. Oh, it was True Foe. True Foe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True Foe. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hold up, hold up. Oh, it's Rosenberg Raw versus Swamp. Yeah, I got it right here. Shout out to Let's Talk Motherfucker Battle Rap. You know, you niggas and y'all, 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 let's talk back. I work for them niggas. Straight up. Like, we are, we are one. <laughs> Shout out to France and all them niggas. Because <laughs> they keep battle rap together. Uh, uh, yeah, he had him on. He had him on 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 May, back in May, on the first trenches card. The nigga had 500 likes, bro. This shit was booming. This post was fucking booming. They wanted the streets wanted this battle, nigga. Niggas made you get out of it. You got out of that battle and ain't get nothing since. Niggas gave you a bam. <laughs> Why is my nigga getting a fucking make me management, nigga? Hot, nigga. Niggas be want 10%. Give me five. <laughs> We get this shit alive, nigga. We get it right, nigga. <laughs> you ain't even got to. You ain't got to say a word, nigga. Just send me the number. You send me the number. I know what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm around. We ain't got to put my name on nothing. We get to be silent, nigga. <laughs> this is how it's going down. Y'all been playing with my nigga too long. He had too great of a run last year. We ain't finna do that shit again this year. What we doing here? You need. That's what you need. You need a little. You know what I'm saying? You, I know you. I know you good. You I know you. You know what I'm saying? You work. You know what I'm saying? You doing what you doing? Your battle shit is running. You you a good rapper and shit. I want to get you to that next level though. You know what I'm saying? Niggas need to. You gotta shake some furniture around there. If I ain't on this motherfucking card, I'm leaving the yard. Homecoming. He better be. He better be on home now. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just go ahead and accept the position. <laughs> <'Cause> Cause he right. And we who knows? He might call me. He might not. But I'm gonna just go ahead and say he better be on there. How about that? That's my first move for him. My client better be on the goddamn card. If not, we're going to be on another motherfucking card. How many, how many events is going on that goddamn weekend? I bet you I can get on one of these. I bet you I can get him on one. <laughs> I heard it's a couple of joints going on that weekend. We did this Christmas. If he ain't here, we going somewhere else. That's my client now. He hired me. 5%. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I think... Uh, Swamp definitely needs some looks because this shit looks crazy. His last year compared to this year aren't even comparable. His this year should have been last year and his last year should have been this year. I'm not here to complain. I'm here to explain. This man has a lot to gain and the shit looks the same. Like, what the fuck are we doing here? Balls, nigga, balls. Arr. But yeah, like, come on, man. Fuck we doing, man? This nigga shit. Like, I need my nigga to be excelling out here. Like, what's going on? It's my client. Swamp, tap in with me and we work this shit out. I already said my percentage, I'm taking, I need five. If I can get five, we can make this shit work. Um, so yeah, I want to see him on, on, on the card pretty soon too, man. Shout out to everybody out there for watching, you know what I'm saying? It's a Monday and I was thinking like, damn, let me blog on something, you know what I'm saying? Besides RiceGameClothing.com, shout out to everybody who does support um, that. But I was like, I seen this shit going on with Hassan Campbell, bro, no, ain't no fucking way. I'm from the Bronx, so I'm definitely going to say something about this. Being from the Bronx. <laughs> 233rd in White Plains. There is no way. Oh my God. Yo, yo, yo. I gotta. I, 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 let me get. Let me get the knife. Yo, this nigga. Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You went to the projects with a knife. Africa Bambada raped the whole community. He raped the old G's, the little G's, the young G's, and nobody gave a fuck. But everybody give a fuck about Cassie? All y'all care about Cassie? I'm not going nowhere. Come outside, don't throw a fucking bottle, you faggot ass nigga. Come outside. Throw a bottle while I'm outside. Throw a bottle while I'm outside. I'm not running nowhere. Come outside, you faggot ass nigga. Scream out your apartment. I stabbed your mother to death. Faggot ass nigga. Don't throw a bottle and hide. Come outside, nigga. I'm out there. Ain't no fucking. <laughs> and call them niggas out. 
and they was throwing bottles at you and you wouldn't leave? Are you crazy? Like, if you didn't get shot, because now a lot of people are thinking that he probably can't. He probably pulled a Charleston White front like he got shot just to get more attention and more views and shit, because this nigga been bugging for years, you know what I'm saying? He been wildin'. Like, even though I do the battle rap shit, I keep my eye and my ears to the streets, but he been bugging for years, talking crazy about people when their kids get killed, when people die, talking about they got their snot box rocked and all this other shit, and he be talking crazy. Like, even when Gilly and Wallow, you know, Gilly's son passed, he was talking wild about him, but like, he just don't care. And he really an emotional creature because, you know what I'm saying, he been doing this for a while because he got touched on by Bambada back in the days, you know what I'm saying? They said Bambada was uh, rubbing down the whole building. He was running through all the, like, he was wild. Like, that's what they said in the Bronx River. And I'm from the Bronx. I'm from 233rd. I'm from Uptown. This is South Bronx, but I went to school in the South Bronx. So niggas always heard the rumblings about what was going on in Bronx River, you know what I'm saying? Like, you used to always hear what was going on in, 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 in Bronx River, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I'm from uptown, but I went to school in the South Bronx. I started going to high school at Gompers on Jackson Avenue. Then I left Jackson Avenue, I went to Prospect Avenue and finished at uh, Jane Addams High School in the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? And it was the hood, are you crazy? <laughs> what? Like, when I heard what he was doing in the middle of the projects, like, with a knife, yelling to, for people to come out and do something, Bro, he's on a suicide mission because, dog, people will do it just to get, they could get him back out there, too. All they got to do is jump online and say he won't come back out there. And he going to march right from his nice house with his beautiful garden, his wife and kids to go all the way. This nigga had to cross a bridge, bro. He lives, I think he lives in Jersey. He had to cross the bridge to go to the fucking... The hood in the middle of the morning and call out random people that have nothing to do with anything that he has going on. It's really a mental thing, dog. I'm telling you, like, son ain't right. He's not right. The internet, the clout, he making probably 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a month on YouTube. He making real money. So he don't even think properly no more. I hope I'm never in a position where my mind is going to where I can't even face reality. Like he got issues that he's been dealing with forever. He just won't deal with them, but he comes on, he goes out there and is calling people out, wanting the feud, wanting the fire in the middle of the Bronx, bro. I'm from the Bronx, New York. Shit happens. When, when, when Fat Joe said that, I felt it. We from the, it happens, bro. What? The, the best thing to do where I'm from is to make it out. Bro, I don't even go to the hood if I ain't got to. If I have no reason to be there, I do not go. I am a father. I got a family, and I am not going to the hood if I have no reason to be there. I'm either coming or going. Because what am I doing here? Coming or going? Listen, when the car is parked, it's parked. We handle what we handle, and choo, I'm gone. What? What are you doing in the hood? People will see me and be like, dog, what are you doing here? You have no business here. Like, get out of here. Because they know how wild it is. In the Bronx? You ain't heard about that dude? What was that dude name? Oh, man. Uh, he was a rapper, man. <sighs> He went to New York with a chain on, and they killed him for the joint, man, in the store. I'm going to Google it right quick, because I want y'all to get this story right quick, you know what I'm saying? I might have a little bit more rap shit in here, but, uh, you know, I battle rap, but I'm on my, my hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude got smoked in the store. Um, What's his name? What's his name? A drill rapper. Yeah, drill rapper killed in Bronx Pharmacy. Uh, Money, Money Gang Vante. He flew all the way from the west to the east with his big ass chain on and was in the Bronx just walking around like it was love and it was life, like it was all good. Bro, them boys ran down there and smoked him on camera. They boomed him for that joint. You will die out there, no questions asked. So for him to be from there and to be pulling a stunt like that is crazy. And he, the way he talks about other people and wanting to stay out the hood and do better for themselves and for you to pull this in the middle of the Bronx, bro. He's a wild dude, I'm just saying. So everybody, I seen people asking me about it, I tweeted about it a time or two, and one of the tweets started going up. I seen a lot of retweets and comments when I was like, yo, anybody that's from the Bronx knows that being in the Bronx, yelling in the Bronx, and having a camera out can get you shot. No questions asked. Cause we, it just, it's just not that type of place. Like I'm from, there ain't no part of the Bronx I don't know about. From Cortland Ave to 241st Street to Fordham Road, East Chester, West. I know every Hunts Point South. I know it all. I'm from there. So when I see this type of behavior, I'm like, ain't no damn way. Ain't no way. I be feeling like when you get into a bigger position, you should be a representation of where you from. I was just at Monroe College speaking not too long ago. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that footage up. And, you know, 
is just to give back. We in a we in a privileged position. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be out here wasting your opportunity and wasting your time because you don't get too many shots to do this type of shit. You'll never get too many opportunities to be something or be somebody in life. You know what I'm saying? And if you get one, it's like, bro, you gotta treat that shit like it's gold. He out here just wilding, but it's man, it's all mental though. Uh, I did see Cassie get that money from Diddy. She pocket checked that nigga. Uh, I believe everything that she say. I believe uh, the test. First of all, here's how quick you would have lost that case. I'm going to just tell y'all. Because a lot of y'all think there's some Diddy defenders out there that are going to defend this man and act like it's impossible for this shit to have gone on. Now, was she a willing participant? Yeah, but after a while, it was Stockholm Syndrome. She's with the nigga for 10 years. He controls her every move, her every look, her every way. How, how much makeup she wears, when she comes out the house, when she goes, what she could eat, what she could shit. This nigga's like controlling her like a fucking dog, right? And then he's her label CEO, too, so whenever she tries to run, the first thing he hangs over her head is your contract, your contract. You ain't, we ain't putting out your record, yada, yada. You do all this, get this goofy shit, right? So he did it for years. He had the chicks getting smashed by male prostitutes and made her go order them. You order them, you get the hotel, you set it up. I'm just gonna show up, sit in the corner, blast myself from filming. This nigga's a psycho. He's even crazier, right? So. He's doing this shit for all of these years, and she finally like worked her way out of the relationship. She kept running away, they catch her and bring her back and shit. She'll run away, they catch her and bring her back. She broke up with the nigga one time. He, he blows up, he cut his car. Jesus fucking Christ. He done blew up the nigga whip. Cause he's 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 that much of a tender. He done blew up kid cutty whip. <laughs> he might have had the knife aside Kim had. <laughs> right? But the nigga blows up kid cutty whip. He going crazy over this girl. And she finally got away, and now she's like, yo, I want my bag. Like, yo, you had me smashing male probably. You know, she with that white man now, too. So, you know, he, he coming to clean house. Like, it's okay, baby. Tell me what happened. He tell me what happened. I asked to death. And when she told him, oh, he was straight at the lawyer. We got to get him. They said 30 million. I think it was 100. Why not? Why not? If they asked for 30, why they asked for 100? He paid 30 that quick, he'll pay 100, too. Cassie, get this nigga. If he paid 30 that quick, he'll pay 102. Tell the nigga 200 and he'll give you one. That 30 is not enough. Don't, don't go for the 30. You better ask that nigga for 100. What you mean? And they was like, oh, she didn't have no proof. Oh, okay, so if she's on the website looking for the niggas to come pipe her, and she's booking the hotels, and she's getting the prescriptions and all this other crazy stuff, and she getting beat up having to stay in the room for five days because he done blacked out, you think she ain't got no proof? You had a hundred million, you better have got a fuck on hundred. You Cassie, you better have got a hundred million out of that motherfucker. A bill, a thirty million ain't enough out of a billion. That's not enough. You should have went for a hundred million. Make him, you should have turned his ass upside. Cause man, he wildin', man, bro. Come on, man. Nah, that, that type of shit ain't it, man. It is not it. It ain't it. So, it, it, and the funny thing is. Man, people been hearing about this stuff. This stuff been going on for years and years and years. From when uh, Jada Kiss and Fab had that interview, he up there acting wild, calling the dude daddy and all that. Puff been a freaky frog. They already know about him. He been known about him. But I didn't know he was doing Cassie like that. I, I mean, I knew their relationship was weird when she shaved the whole side. I knew it was weird. Listen, I knew we had, this shit never seemed right to begin with. But when that motherfucker <laughs> shaved that side of the head, I said, oh, yeah, she gone. Oh, yeah, she gone. She gone. She ain't here no more. And she finally had got away from him, but then she came back for that bag, man. He had to pay. That motherfucker had to pay. He in there talking about, uh, you picked the man with the biggest, oh, he's a wild dude, man. He wild, man. You know you know what kind of freak you got to be to want to see somebody else smash your joint and that get you a watch and somebody, what? That ain't going to work. Most most people, that's never going to work for. But when you he got so much money to where it's weird shit like that, it's a turn on to him. She got to oil herself up like Valvoline just so she could mess with somebody else. He ain't gonna, she ain't gonna get paid. You better have went and got that honey. If you know like I know, your 30 was too low if you know like I know. 30 is too low. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No, you should have got that 100 million out of him. If you were talking about, oh, there should be a statute of limitation on oh, what? Like, she had to subject herself to selling her body, not selling her body, but giving herself away and all of this. And then he'll beat you up and jump out the car and black your eye and he blowing up people. <laughs> Yo, the documentary, the documentary that we make and not he make is going to be crazy. Because the one he make going to be that version. But the one that we make, 
Oh, that documentary go be wild, bro. Oh my god. But you know the story I want to hear? Farnsworth Bentley. Wherever the fuck you at, you need to. We want to hear your version of the story. I don't want to hear these niggas, bro. I want to hear you. <laughs> Farnsworth, I need to hear it, man. Come on out, man. You might well come get your money too. If he, if she got him for thirty, nigga, I know he wasn't cool with you. I know he was. He probably had you in the parties too. You better, you better get your money. Get this, get him, get, get him. You better come for your fifty piece. He might owe you about fifty million. Um, other than that, man, salute to all of the subscribers out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to everybody out there, man. I'm glad that y'all stopped in and checked in with me today. It's your boy Vada Fly. Tell you my mindset. Hi, gang, gang.